Alright, hello and welcome back to another episode of um, the Azumarill um, speed run. Solo run. Over here is a psychic, and uh, they have a feel. Um, so fun fact about this person, or this area I should say, in um, the remakes of this game, right here in this area, uh, would be um, the Manek Manektite? The um, Mega Evolution Stone to Mega Evolve. Manectric. <laughs> a lot of M, a lot of M alliteration. Um, anyway, I guess we can skip through all these people. There we go. Yeah. Simple enough. Alright, so now, um, you can either go back through the Verdant Turf, uh, tunnel to get to Rustboro, which is, uh, normally what you're supposed to do. But since I didn't show off Cycling Road, I thought we'd take that way. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make it back to Petalburg this way. But normally you're supposed to go through the, the Verdant Turf Tunnel and then make it over to Westboro. And then just backtrack back. Um, but... I'm gonna show up here, and now we're finally gonna fight Norman. Uh, yes, so our father that we met at the beginning of the game, he was actually a gym leader. Let's save. He was a gym leader, and he was the fifth gym leader. And, um... I really like this moment. It's kind of like a coming-of-age moment, and uh, it really shows it off in the, the remakes of this game. But, um, it's, it's, it shows you, it's, it's a goal. Um, at the beginning of the game, you're just kind of starting off your journey, you just got your new Pokemon and stuff. Um, you have a rival, you just made a friend, Wally and May. And then you come in here and you see your dad. And, like, he's in this gym and you're like, oh, that's so cool. This is the first and only Pokemon game that you have a dad, um, actually present in the game. So that's really cool. Um. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Um, and so that's like that's something different, first of all. We, we've uh, never seen before and since this game. And so um, you're like, oh man, my dad's Jim Lee, that's so cool. And then like you talk to him and he's like, oh, you're not strong enough to fight me yet. Better fight me? Yeah. He was like, yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm like I'm, I'm a gym leader, but you're not strong enough to fight me yet. You need some more badges, and so you kind of have that goal. So you're you're going throughout the whole game, and you're like, I'm gonna get stronger, I'm gonna get stronger, I'm gonna train my Pokemon so I can come back and fight my dad. <laughs> as odd as that sounds. And so you finally get to this point in the game, and um, he's he's no pushover. He's he's really really difficult. He has two slackings, and um, although they have the uh, ability that kind of makes them um, only able to attack every other turn, that means, oh, that's a really cool coffin. It really means nothing, because they're so strong. And then he has a Vigoroth and everything, and so... What a hero. And so, you really feel like uh, you accomplished something once getting here, um, and then once you actually like, fight him and defeat him. And the reward for defeating him is one, a sense of accomplishment. You set a goal for yourself at the beginning of the game and you, you know, followed through with it. Um, oh yeah, he doesn't have slackings or anything. Well, he normally would. <laughs> um, but once you beat him, um, you, oh, that's a really cool Nido King. Oh, I really want that Nido King. <laughs> you get, uh, I should have used rollouts, I showed you guys, so I roll out this whole region. Um, you get the HM Surf, which I told you before, half of Hoenn, half of this uh, map is all of, uh, it's just water. So once you get to this kind of halfway point, after you fight the fifth gem, your father, the school that you personally set for yourself at the beginning of the game, you get the balance badge, you're able to use Surf outside of battle, which you, you know, don't have Surf yet. But here's Wally's uncle, and he's kind of gonna, th he's gonna thank you for helping him and, um, you know, kind of Wally, actually this is Wally's dad. Um, this is where Wally used to live, and then he went to live with his aunt and his uncle in, um, Verdant Turf. Uh, but now we have the HM Surf, which allows you, it opens up the entire map, basically. So before you could travel anywhere on land, oh, not what I wanted to do. Before you could travel anywhere on land, but now all of this is open to you, all this water. Which you couldn't do before. And so that's kind of your, your coming of age and your, um, reward for that. Which I personally think is really cool. But, 
as I already said, Surf is one of the moves that um, we are going to keep on our move set. So right now, all we're missing is Ice Beam um, to complete our move set. So there's a few things we can do. Um, going back to Mauville and going to the right will progress the story. But naturally, we saw all of this water over here that we could go to um, when we were sailing on Mr. O'Brien's. Um, ship. So, I think, let's see, what should we do? Actually, I don't think I can get ice cream yet. I think I need, I think I need something else. Well, let me go check that real quick. Alright, alright, so, um, I always say, alright, like I'm about to begin an episode. Um, so let's talk you surf. All right, so we can go get ice cream right now, and that's that's what our that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll fight some trainers along the way, along the left side uh, of us. You can actually go over there and find a Reggie Ice later on in the game. Um, how to get the Reggies in this game was really odd, and esoteric, and uh, I I kind of want to show them off because it's just so weird. The first time, like I I learned what to do. Like I was young, I I, I didn't even know that they were in the game. And like years after getting this game, I decided to look it up. And I was like, um, like I don't know, I guess I like looked up secrets or something in this game. They're like, you can get the Reggies. And I was like, Reggies, you can get them in this game? And uh, I looked up how to get them and I was like, is this real? I was like, how, how are you supposed to figure this out? It's the strangest thing to get them. But um, it's it's really cool. And it's like, if you, it's, if it's something that you can remember by like, heart. And your friends like asking you like, oh man, how do I get how do I get the the, the Reggies in this game? And they're like, oh, set aside, I know how to do this. Oh, oh here we go, Enerith. This is the uh, cloth fossil that you can get from uh, the Mirage Tower in uh, uh, the desert route 101 or route 101 route um 111, which has some really nice music by the way. Here we go, this is protein, I thought it was a carbose, so it's still wrong. Um, anyway, so we're back over here in Duford uh, City. Duford City? Duford Town. Duford Island. Anyway, so you want to go left, or right, I mean. Um, and if you saw before, actually, I never mentioned it, I just realized. Um, when we were riding on Mr. Briney's ship, uh, we passed a... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's... Duh, it's ghost type. <laughs> we passed a... Uh, like a broken down, sunken ship that um, never really talked about, but that's where that's that's our that's our goal. Um, the SS Cactus, I believe it's called, um, crashed and sunk, and is um, actually the place for New Ma uh, New Mawile New Mawile City, yeah, and uh, the remakes of this game. But uh, New Mawile is located somewhere else in this game, which. It's actually a side quest. Uh, you do it to get Thunderbolt, which I'm not going to use, so I'm actually going to skip that. So we are going to do Surf. Alright, so um, Surf and Earthquake. In Gen 4 and up, Surf and Earthquake attack. Uh, if you're in like, a double battle, it attacks both enemies and attacks your own Pokemon. Oh, Mudkip's evolving. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Mudkip. No evolving for you. Um, it attacks uh, every single Pokemon on the field. Um, for s whatever reason, in this game, Surf doesn't do that. Surf only affects the opposite side and not the Pokemon next to you. Um, unlike Earthquake does in this uh, in this game, and you know how both moves act in later on, uh, later games. So that's kind of something to note. Um, also, the physical and special split. I never talked about that. Um, so, you know, like uh, in Gen 4 now, uh, each move has a special and a physical. So let's say, oh, Kip's just dead. Um, let's see, uh, Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is a, uh, Gen 4 now, Thunder Punch is a uh, physical move, you know, obviously because you're punching. Meanwhile, Thunder Bolt is a special move because there is no physical contact. Uh, so that's a physical special split. Each move had a physical uh, moves and uh, special moves, but that 
split didn't come until Gen 4, and this is Gen 3. Uh, meaning that there was no split, and so a few things are different. Yeah, here you go, the abandoned ship, this is the SS Cactus. Looking trash cans. Um, so, like, so how it works in, the, in Gen 3 and um, before is uh, normal types are uh, physical, but water types, all water types are um, uh, special. That's kind of how it works. Um, to remember, just think of all of Eevee's evolutions plus Dragon, and those are all the specials. Everything else that's not included, those are all physicals. So even Dragon Claw is, uh, or no. Even Dragon Claw, although, you know, you're physically making contact, is considered a special in Gen 3 and before because it's a Dragon type move. Um, so that's, you know, something to keep aware of. Something to keep note. Uh, so, some trainers here. Which, I don't know why there's so many people hanging out in this abandoned ship. Because, you know, it's, it's an abandoned ship. Also, that Onyx looks really cool. You could say that its color is almost Onyx. He lied. <laughs> he said he was throwing up. We'll just check the trash can, there's nothing. So over here is a little patch of water, there's a broken in uh, floor. Uh, you have to come back when you have the move uh, dive. And you're able to um, dive ball. And you're able to go into there. Um, so what we want to do is not fight this guy. Um, actually, I, don't, I think you can do it in this game. From the um, other room, I'll show you. Um, from over here, if you're standing right at that wall, uh, when he's like running by here, he'll see you and actually walk through the wall and fight you, which is kind of interesting. He phases through walls to try to fight you. <laughs> fight me, one on one. <laughs> oh man, I already brought this up. Parasex colors are so weird. Stantler, I like it's like it's like dipped and like purple bubblegum. Looks kind of tasty. Uh, PSA, please don't eat your Pokemon. See, if we walked in through that door at the other end, you would have gotten to a, a double battle immediately. But we have some control if you enter through the, the south end. Um, splash zone. Yeah, so return, return is going to be really useful. If you're ever doing a solo run with any Pokemon, doesn't matter where it is, use, you want return to be one of its movesets. Anyway, so you come up here, you have the storage key, that's important. Talk to Cap or he talks about Captain Stern. Anyway, so you find out this is the called the SS Cactus. So you come back down here with that storage key. This door was originally locked. So now you can go in and get Ice Beam. So Ice Beam, um, basically, uh, what the move set originally was uh, was Surf, Return, Ice Beam, and Dig. Um, so I had it on my Mudkip as well. And, my, and Mudkip's, you know, water type, so we against lightning, so I had Dig to combat uh, lightning, and um, uh, weak against electric attacks. And um, the weak against grass, attack, uh, grass attacks, which is why I had Ice Beam. Um, so I got all the weaknesses covered, and then I had uh, Surf for, you know, stab damage, and... Um, and then return because return is fantastic for us. Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? For solo runs. And here is our. But uh, yeah, with a zoom roll, I'm gonna keep roll out and not give a dig because the rollout is so good. Um, but here is our finishing move set. Uh, rollout, surf, return, and ice beams. This is what we'll be using for the rest of the game. Uh, well, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, until we, you know, complete the game. Yeah, so if we stand right here, when he is running right there, he'll actually see you and walk through the wall to fight you. A little interesting, a little glitch. Um, but I think that's that's it. Yeah. See, so look, look at return. Look how much this damage it's doing. Uh, as long as M4 doesn't die, we're good. Um. So our next. So yeah, now, oh look, a Pikachu. I like those colors, they're just kind of like, uh, its cheeks are inverted. 
Um, inverted, yeah. Um, so now, now that you have Surf, you can pretty much go wherever you want. Double Pikachu. You can pretty much go wherever you want in the region. Um, everything's opened up to you. There's a few places that you've already been to that um, you can go to right now and explore different areas because you have Surf. And M4 is about to die. <laughs> I should probably do something about that, but... Okay, yeah. I most definitely need something about that. Uh, soda Pop. That's why I have it. Yeah. That, that didn't help as much as I wanted to. <laughs> A little full up though. Oh man, curse. Alright, I really need to get out of this fight. Oh, oh, that's what's happening. That's why you don't use the speed up button. Oh, okay, this is this is not good. Um Wow. <laughs> um do I have a do I have anything? I need like a full restore, a hyper potion. No, I that I don't. Okay, let's. Like this is this is it. This is all I have. Ah, no, Loaf is my strongest. Okay. Oh, and they're both. Okay. Well. <laughs> all right. There we go. And there's more. Do you still have curse? And you're done. Which means that <sighs> I can't believe I died. I have to finish this fight. I don't think I can actually. Okay, well, now that I've basically lost this solo run, uh, luckily I'm not doing a Nuzlocke and I have to begin the whole game again. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And we're back here. Well, that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is meet you back in Mawile, Mawile, Mawville. I'll meet you back in Mawville City in the next episode. <laughs> kind of recover from this this horrible loss. Um, I'm going to go back and get that item because I, I feel like I need to redeem myself. So, next episode, Mawile City. Alright, see you then.